all this and I'm just like, like I don't know. So I was watching your mother even just when that tape was coming on. It's still very much PTSD, very much traumatic. You're still reliving it and how has it been for you? How did you how were you notified that there was a shooting at the school? I was notified by a friend. Mm -hmm. She called me, I was at work mm -hmm. and she called me and she said, Do you know about the shooting? Which is with the school that she goes to, the Appalachia said, No, I don't. And then she said there was a shooting at Appalachia High School. My just my heart just dropped and my heart just got so heavy and I could not stop. I just like I had to leave. I told my co-workers I gotta go, I had to leave. And the very first thing I did is on my new floor and just I pray. I prayed for about three minutes. I told my for my work on the way to the I didn't get to get to the school on my car. I had to leave my car at a gas station about two, maybe two and a half, three miles. And I was on foot and I ran because my heart was so heavy. I could not just, I didn't get to the touch of my daughter. And I hear you have a message for people in power regarding guns now. I do. I want to finish that story because no parents should go through this. I want to just finish what, you know, the, whole, the, the experience. You do not know what feels until it's you. Yeah. You know, all those numbers that you show on the TV, yeah. you know, a lot of people, they're young mothers. You know, what are we doing about this? What are we doing? Let's make sure that everybody listens. Let's make sure that everybody hears it. The whole world needs to hear that we women that have our children, we have a job. That job is to protect our children. That job is to protect our nation. That job is to protect our country. We cannot have, we cannot leave, we cannot let that go on. We have to stop it. You know, where I was asking earlier, where are those people? Are they the shooting? Where are they? They needed to make a noise. I'm ready to make a noise about this and I'm ready to stop it. Because no one, no one knows what feels when you give back a child, when you cover and you cover and you die and sleep. When I went through it, you know, it's just me that knows it. And I'm sure, I'm so sorry for those that lost, that they, they should actually die. I can actually hide my child. My child is here. And I gave all these praise to my, the Lord. Our Father in heaven saved my child. You know, but the other two, Mothers who lost their kids, and the other teachers that died. You know, those people are suffering. Like I'm suffering. I'm very sorry for them. I'm very sorry that they lost their kids. They're loved ones. And you have a message 